While best known for their slings and pouches, Blue Force Gear is less known for their plate carriers. Founded in 2004, Blue Force Gear is widely recognized as the first company to address weight as a major issue in load-bearing equipment. Today, that philosophy manifests in their new plate carrier, which is also the subject of today's Insights Technical Plate Carrier Review, the Plate 6 Molly Minus. While the name might be a bit unwieldy, the Plate 6 Molly Minus is anything but. When the Plate 6 first arrived at our office in Knoxville, Tennessee, we noticed the focus on lightweight, efficient, monolithic design immediately. With their focus on lighter, faster, stronger, the big questions we want to answer today are, how does the Plate 6 Molly Minus stack up against the competition, and why aren't more people talking about this carrier? Stay tuned to this episode of Core Performance Insights to find out. In the interest of full transparency, we need to briefly discuss the relationship between Core Performance and Blue Force Gear. This is the first technical plate carrier overview video we have done where we have an existing B2B relationship with the manufacturer of the subject plate carrier. Our business to business relationship with Blue Force Gear dates back several years. They are the only pouches we sell on our website for use with our Ice Plate XO, and we worked together closely on our Ice Vince Interbell project. We even used the same closure mechanism to ensure optimum compatibility between our ice vents inner belt and their chalk and grid belts. Despite this relationship, our review will still be completely unbiased and objective thanks to its purely empirical format. Blue Force Gear was not involved in this review in any way other than to sell us the Plate 6 at our wholesale account price. Yes, we paid for the Plate 6 used in this review. For those of you familiar with our technical plate carrier overview series, you know that thermoregulation is the next frontier of human performance enhancement. We view thermoregulation as a foundational principle in everything we do. This series started as a way for us to answer customer questions about how to integrate our Ice Age ecosystem of performance enhancing and environmental inoculation technologies with kit from other manufacturers. As such, Ice Age ecosystem integration is where we will begin. IceVents and IceVents Augmentation supercharges any non-core performance plate carrier, providing them with critical thermoregulatory capabilities that are otherwise missing from every carrier on the market today except our IcePlate XO. While the Plate 6 Molly Minus might lack organic thermoregulation capabilities, the fix is simple. Multiple members of our Ice Age ecosystem integrate easily with Plate 6, IMS, IMS Pro, IMS Versa, Catamaran, and IceVents Aero. The lack of full loop Velcro fields, or MOLLE, on the inside of the plate bags means the Plate 6 limits our IMS and IMS Pro to external hard cell hydration mode on the rear plate bag only. However, Plate 6 is an ideal platform for an IMS Versa and Catamaran installations. IMS Versa facilitates internal mounting of our ice plate curve for conductive thermoregulation plus hydration to the inside of the Plate 6. Catamaran uses largely the same mounting system for our IceVents Classic plate carrier ventilation pontoons to add convective thermoregulation capability to the Plate 6. Heavy loads in the Plate 6 are made lighter thanks to easy integration of our IceVents Aero minimalist plate carrier shoulder pads. IceVents Aero provide convective thermoregulation for your shoulders while distributing load, a capability unique to our IceVents technology. Few things impact human performance more than weight. Ounces equal pounds and pounds equal pain. We've all heard it. We all know it. At the time of this script writing, on 28 October 2023, the BFG website lists two different weights for the Plate 6 Molly Minus. In size medium, 670 grams, 23.63 ounces, is the listed weight at the top of the product page in the title tile. BFG also lists the weight as 4 pounds in the specification section of the same Plate 6 Molly Minus product page. 
Our in-house testing shows the Plate 6 Molly Minus in size medium as weighing 1.46 pounds or 23.40 ounces dry. This is how the Plate 6 dry weight compares to other plate carriers we've tested thus far. We'll touch more on this later in the video during the Unique Features segment, but it is important to note that the Plate 6 we used for our testing is the model that comes with integrated 6x6 side sappy plate bags. The BFG website states that a low-vis version is available that deletes these side sappy plate bags, but our weight figures do include the additional weight of this feature. None of the other plate carriers in our testing have built-in side sappy plate bags except the LBT6094. For context, 16 ounces is the approximate weight of a loaded 5.56 magazine. In other words, for every 16 additional ounces of dry weight in your play carrier, you are potentially gaining or sacrificing 30 rounds of 5.56 NATO ammunition, depending on if you have a lighter or heavier play carrier. To find out how the weight of the BFG Plate 6 compares to carriers like our Ice Plate XO, Spiritus Systems LV119, Cry Precision, SPC, and others when loaded up and configured, click on the link in the show notes below. Check out our play carrier weight calculator. The data is super interesting as it lets you set up your PC with various accessories, and then it gives you the final weight of your custom PC build. Wet weight matters, and this is where the Plate 6 really starts to empirically separate itself from the rest of the field. Whether salt water or sweat, the ability of a plate carrier to repel slash shed water weight and to do so quickly has a dramatic impact on operator performance. The wet weight of the Plate 6 came in at 34.2 ounces. This means the BFG Plate 6 retained 10.6 ounces of water or roughly the same weight as 10 rounds of 5.56 or one third of a loaded magazine in water retention. If you've watched any of our earlier videos in this series, you know that our experimental design is simple. It is the same for all PCs we test in the series. Submerge carrier in water for 60 minutes, remove and hang dry for 60 seconds, weigh the carrier. We conduct all of these tests inside of our office to make sure external variables like sunlight, wind, etc. are not present. Our scale is always zero to account for the weight of the bin. YouTube is telling us that less than 8% of you who watch our videos are subscribed to the channel. Be a friend of freedom. Smash those subscribe, like, and notification buttons. This really helps us to bring you more high quality testing and educational videos like this one. Materials are another area where the Plate 6 Molly Minus by Blue Force Gear starts to put some serious daylight between itself and the competition. Plate 6 is built from BFG's proprietary Ultra Comp Laminate. This is a highly capable material that is significantly stronger than common products like Squadron. Ultra Comp is fire resistant and 100% made right here in the US. Plate 6 also uses Tweave for the soft armor plate bag. BFG does not specify whether they use Velcro brand hook and loop or a generic alternative. What exactly is thermal transmittance, and why should any of us care? What does it have to do with plate carriers? Thermal transmittance is the transfer of heat through matter. In our case, the matter is the body-facing section of a plate carrier plate bag. If a wall or a plate bag is well insulated, it will have low thermal transmittance. This is ideal for a home, car, or cold weather jacket, as they are designed to protect you from the elements. If that same wall or plate bag is poorly insulated, it will have high thermal transmittance. This is ideal for active or athletic apparel. Think running clothes, PT gear, combat uniforms, or anything you wear when under heavy athletic exertion, or your body needs to dump excess heat generated from effort. Since kit is already insulating by nature, you want to find gear, especially plate carriers and body armor, that have the highest possible thermal transmittance. In other words, you want to find plate carriers and body armor that have the minimum amount of insulation. This will allow your body's natural thermoregulatory mechanisms to work as efficiently as possible and for you to control your body temperature independent from your kit. Preserving this natural function decreases the possibility of you becoming a heat casualty, keeping you in the fight and increasing survivability for you and your team. Some plate carriers, like our Ice Plate XO, can even augment your body's natural thermoregulation mechanisms, boosting your performance in the process. Carriers without this capability can be augmented with members of our Ice Age ecosystem like IMS Pro, IMS Versa, Ice Vents, and Catamaran. If you'd like to learn the basic methods of heat transfer and how they apply to your gear, check out the awesome infographics we put together in our Insights blog article titled The Methods of Heat Transfer, linked in our show notes below. For all of us super nerds out there who want to know the experimental design for our thermal transmittance testing, here it is. First, we take a FLIR camera surface reading of the body facing side of the plate bags at room temperature. Then, we place a single ice plate curve fresh out of the freezer into the same plate bag. Next, 
We close the plate bag, place a Tenkate Level 3 hard armor plate on top of the plate bag for 30 seconds to stimulate the effect of putting on the plate carrier. Use short exposure time to test efficiency, not capacity. Next, we remove the Tenkate Level 3 hard armor plate from the surface of the subject plate bag. And lastly, we take a new FLIR surface temperature reading. What do these numbers mean? The smaller the spread between the initial or baseline surface temperature and the surface reading at room temperature, the lower the thermal transmittance of that plate bag. Plate carriers with these readings will trap and retain more heat, making you hotter. The larger the spread between initial or baseline surface temperature and the surface reading at room temperature, the higher the thermal transmittance of that plate carrier. Plate bags with these larger spreads are better at removing heat to let your body's thermoregulation mechanisms work as normally as possible. The BFG Plate 6 Molly Minus has an initial or baseline surface temperature of 75 degrees Fahrenheit and ice plate and side surface temperature of 50 degrees Fahrenheit, creating a thermal shift of 25 degrees Fahrenheit. This is how the BFG Plate 6 Molly Minus stacks up against the other plate carriers we've tested. Plate 6 Molly Minus is loaded with unique features that we haven't seen in any other plate carrier we've reviewed as part of the Insights series. As we noted earlier, the Plate 6 is equipped with built-in 6x6 side sappy plate bags. However, what we didn't mention is that the Plate 6 also has magazine pouches built into the cummerbund. These are both particularly clever features and not something we've ever seen in a rival minimalist plate carrier design. Plate 6 also features BFG's BLIP, or Ball Loaded Index Point technology, on the corners of the side sappy plate bags for easy manipulation in harsh environments, like extreme wet or cold. The plate bags have integrated eyelets for radio routing while the front plate bag has a built-in admin pouch. The Plate 6 plate bags are also optimized for e-sappy or spear plates. Last but not least, the Plate 6 has a Tweave plate bag liner for use with a soft armor backer. The attachment mechanisms on the BFG Plate 6 are simple. Velcro and Molly, that's it. The Plate 6 does not have swift clip compatibility or zip-on back panels. When it comes to variety, the BFG Plate 6 is available in Coyote Brown, Ranger Green, Black, and Multicam. The shoulders and cummerbund allow for a wide range of adjustability. As you can see here, the BFG Plate 6 has a 9-inch length of Velcro on the shoulders and 12 inches of adjustability in the cummerbund. As far as sizes, the Plate 6 is available in small, medium, large, XL, and is cut for e-sappy or spear armor plate geometries. As with all things Blue Force gear, the Plate 6 is made in America from American materials. While we are firm believers in not skimping on life-saving equipment, the Plate 6 Molly Minus by Blue Force gear sells for $299.95 on the BFG website as of October 2023, which makes it one of the best values on the market today. That's going to do it for us in our Blue Force Gear Plate 6 Molly Minus Overview. Now that you know all about the Plate 6 and how it stacks up to the competition, we want to know what you guys think. Why isn't the Plate 6 more popular? Would you consider the Plate 6 as your go-to carrier? We hope you enjoyed the video and that it was helpful. If you're looking to see the latest in all aspect thermoregulation, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Core Performance and subscribe to our Launchpad email list to join us in building a superhuman future. Until next time, stay frosty.